Intonation, songs from the violin of hope, tell the true stories of violins that belong to Jewish musicians before and during the Holocaust. In crafting the texts for this dramatic song cycle, the greatest Gene Shear imagined what the violins would say if they could speak. And so the texts that we will hear tonight are from the perspective of the violins. When our mezzo soprano Audrey Babcock sings in the first person, she is embodying those violins. The violins themselves in this composition are represented by two soloists, and tonight we have the honor of having both soloists play on actual violins of hope. The violin that Dr. Ricardo Myers will be playing was once owned by Heinrich V. Kafka a promising violinist in Germany who is dismissed from his orchestral positions simply for being Jewish. His life was spared when he was able to leave Germany upon being recruited as the first concertmaster of the Palestine Order, now the world-renowned Israel Philharmonic. At the very end of the work, local high school student David Parpa will join Dr. Myers on the stage, representing this great Jewish tradition of the door to door, generation to generation. As these stories we pass from the survivors who are here to the students on stage and in the audience tonight. David will be playing on a violin that was made by the Jewish violin maker Jakob Zimmerman for his friend, Jewish industrialist Shimon Kronko in 1924. The year before that, Shimon's brother Chaim made Aliyah to Eretz Israel, never to see his brother again. During the Holocaust, Shimon escaped Warsaw to Russia and then Tashkent to Uzbekistan, where he died in Titus. After the Holocaust, a survivor brought his brother Chaim, Shimon's violin, to Jerusalem. It is for Chaim and his children one of the only stories and one of the only artifacts they have of the beloved brother. We hope you enjoyed the performance tonight, this wonderful piece played on these inspirational instruments by these incredible musicians.